Today, Danny, we got a fun one. We've got a driver comparison, three low spin models released in 2022. It's the Titleist TSR3, the Callaway Rogue ST Max LS, and the TaylorMade Stealth Plus. We're gonna get Thomas and hit some bombs. We're gonna compare on TrackMan and see which of these is the low spin driver king this year. Hey golfers, Drew and Danny back here today in the tour van at Second Swing and a very fun one today. Mm -hmm. um, the low spin popular drivers of 2022, of course, TaylorMade Stealth Plus and Callaway Rogue ST Max LS have been in the fitting bays all year. But now, here at the end of 2022, TSR3 from Titleist, another addition to that kind of compact low spin profile. Um, first, tell me about your experience fitting Stealth Plus, Danny, okay. and the Rogue ST Max LS, what those have been like this year. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna start with Callaway first. Um, Callaway has been great at managing that ball, the ball speed across the, the face itself. As soon as they opened up that, that jailbreak, yep. and actually made it a speed bridge mm -hmm. now, it opened up the door for more miss hits and more or better management of the ball speed across the face. Mm -hmm. What I mean by, by that is not only speed, but the spin rate that gets dictated off that sure. strike as well. So a big advantage from Callaway, one of my favorites for that management. Um, Stealth Plus, you know, we open up the door to moving CG location, yeah. being able to kind of alter that weight. For me, I'm not necessarily putting that in play to alter ball flight. I'm looking at where that player misses and moving that weight there yeah. to manage that hot spot where they sure. hit it, right? Sure. More mass behind that. Right. So kind of centering this, I guess, center of gravity, so to speak, but where they're making contact, that way it's kind of maximizing energy right. where they hit the ball. So, right, right. Um, so you're taking, now with the TSR3, we're basically combining tech from both of these. Yeah, right? a little bit of kind of the best of both worlds, a little bit there. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of the other thing we should talk about is TSR3. Yep. Um, you know, there's the speed ring VFT face, of course. Correct. And I know we've done this similar test with the high MOI heads. Mm -hmm. We brought in TSR2, we brought in yep. Stealth, and Rogue ST Max, and the TSR2 more compact than than both of those other models, yep. and that re resulted in a little bit more speed and distance for Thomas. Mm -hmm. I'm curious now on this one, in terms of the size of that TSR3, we bring yep. that in, is that gonna be more compact than these? And I think that'll dictate a lot of the results here of this test I, probably. I agree, I agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, based on what I've seen already with the TSR product, it's been fantastic. Uh, but now going head to head with some of the kings in the low spin tech, right. It's time to bring Thomas Campbell in. Right. Let's get yeah, the answers. Let's do it. Pretty darn good start. Yep. Drift. Yep. Pretty darn good. That sounds pretty similar to me, honestly. The farthest tee shot so far, right off the gate for the Stealth Plus. Mm -hmm. Ooh, went after that a tad. Yes, it wasn't right. <laughs> right out of the gate, over 300 carry. Yep. Yep. Good. Yep. Wow. So Thomas, uh, 15 really good tee shots there. And uh, I mean, at first glance at the numbers, and there's a lot of similarities, <laughs> but I did want to get your opinion on look and feel, uh, uh, you know, especially the club head shape, because yep. I know with the high MOI models, there was definitely a difference there. So talk to me about TSR3, Stealth Plus, and uh, Rogue ST Max LS differences there. Yeah, so let's start with the TSR3. That's probably the, the kind of the cleanest look to me, looking down like a pear-shaped look mm -hmm. out of all the, all the models. Um, very clean. Um, the Stealth Plus, I feel like it sits in between the two of them. Mm -hmm. So the Stealth Plus still looks pretty clean, still nicely rounded, um, but with the Rogue ST Max LS, it just looks like it's a little larger from heel to toe and sits just a little bit flatter. Yeah. Uh, I, will, I will say I do kind of like the matte look with the with this particular model versus the shinier look with the TSR three, yeah. but I can for sure get over it if the numbers are better. Right, right. I, I feel the same way about that. Yeah. But and so now, I mean, Danny, first of all, you were watching all the shots, mm -hmm. a lot of similar ball flights. So, yep. talk to me your your first impressions on these tests. Anything really big jump out at you? 
Um, I, I knew there would be some low spin tendencies on all. Yeah. I was worried about strike location in this video. Yeah. When things started to dabble a little bit more <laughs> towards the toe, we really started to see the spin yeah. drop. So, you know, Thomas brought up a good point of having Callaway sit a little bit flatter. I mean, we'll go into impact right now and kind of touch base on that a little bit here. But let's start with the rope. So a little bit flatter. Yeah. So you can see on average about 10 millimeters toe side, okay, which I would expect there. Now, once we bring them a little bit more upright from the Callaway, okay. going into the Stealth Plus, you can see it moved significantly. Mm -hmm. So from 10 millimeters, or guys have seen me talk about millimeters on the channel all right. the time, right? You know, dimples <laughs> coming up here. Yeah. So <laughs> seeing two and a half dimples, yeah. dimples of a golf ball towards the toe, that's gonna be a lot of um, lower on the spin, a little bit more erratic on the mm -hmm. ball flight there, harder to control. Yeah. Spin axis to the left. Exactly, all day. And yeah. now with TaylorMade just at standard setting, um, four millimeters off the toe, so a dimple there, but that was really, really good. TSR, very close. Interesting how it's just a fraction down or low on the head, right. especially with the numbers being promoted. Generally, low on the club head is gonna vault spin way up, but it didn't really do that. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I know. That's Very the good. that's the yeah. crazy thing is usually lower on the club face equals a little bit of an increase in spin, which actually yeah. TSR was below the stealth, not barely. These are you know not huge differences, but a little lower than the stealth plus. Um, and then I also want to point out too that one of the things you always say is if you're going to miss on the club face, a little toe side is the way to go because as we see on the numbers and we see on the map as well, like the the performance and you miss slightly toe is going to be a lot better than you uh, a slight miss anywhere else basically. I've definitely trained myself for the last few years to not hit it on the heel. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I like to see a little bit of a draw and I want to get as much out of the distance as I can. Mm -hmm. and if I catch it on the heel it's going to do the opposite. It's going to spin more and it's going to go a little right. more to the right. Right. So looking at these numbers here we can kind of go through I mean club speed pretty similar throughout, ball speed pretty similar throughout. So your, your efficiency with each driver was pretty similar across the board. Um, and that generated a pretty similar launch angle too. I mean, 15.2, 15.2, and 15.7. The difference, as we talked about with the spin, dropping a little bit with the Rogue ST Max LS, a lot of uh, that due to the club face hitting it, you know, a little bit towards the toe. Yep. Um, but I mean, look at these distance numbers. How similar the carry are is separated by basically one yard throughout all three clubs. Total separated by two yards on all three clubs. So if there's a distance king, so to speak. You know that Rogue ST Max LS is the winner, barely. <laughs> I mean, right. by a hair. I don't um, think I could. I think they're basically but very, very I similar. I think it's, it's fair to say they're very yeah. and player tendency. It's yeah. going to be I the type of player what they feel like they look like look mm -hmm. out better, feel out better. All yeah. three of them are awesome. I know, and I think yeah. I think people might get almost sick of us saying player dependent so much on the channel, but it really is. And I think yeah. this is one of those tests where it is going to be player dependent how somebody delivers the club. You know, confidence when they look down at it, things like that, that are going to determine the, the distance because it's so similar in this test. Yeah, I mean, you look at the height, we're talking within, when well, they're separated by two feet, yeah. each, each feet club. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just across the board, the numbers are very, very similar. And mm -hmm. it's going to be just slight little subtle tendencies based yeah. on the way you deliver the club and where you hit it. Um, but yeah. this is a, this is an awesome test to see. Right, hey, well, these three three are very very close. Oh, they're yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't really. There's not really a clear winner. I think we decided that. I did want to bring up the the, the dispersion map just so people can see, um, you know, the tee shots here. So Thomas does have this the draw working today. A little bit of a right to left ball flight today. And it was obviously more evident with the the Callaway driver. But um, you see how you know even the dispersion circles are so similar. You know, uh, most of it left of center but still within you know, five or 10 yards of the center line, most of them, right? So there's a lot of similarities with these drivers. I think it really, what we're saying is it comes down to the player's preference, how they like the club to feel, look, maybe they have a brand preference out of the three, but um, any, dry, any golfer that comes in with a lot of speed needs to hit something lower launching, lower spin. These three are really good options, Danny. Absolutely, and you know, forecasting down the line for players, when the data is this close, you got to look at what advantages does one club head or one um, loft and live sleeve, what mm, is that yeah. how does that differ between manufacturers? Sure. You know, seeing the spin rate where it is, I like to have, have the adjustability not for more upright, for at least Thomas's case, maybe others coming in for fittings, but I like to have a little bit more loft and a little bit flatter. So I know I can't get that with TaylorMade and their yeah. adjustable hosels, it just goes more and more upright no matter yeah. what you do. Um, Callaway, 
can't quite get there either, unless I change the adapter piece or the tour cog to make it sit even flatter. Um, and then TSR, one of the few that you can play with loft to lie without changing loft. So a lot of advantages, but when numbers are this close, look and feel are important. Yeah. The adjustability sleeve in the driver is important. The player's goals are important. What do you want out of that driver so you don't, so it actually plays and maxi maximizes your game. Mm -hmm. so. One thing we also didn't talk too was center of gravity adjustability mm -hmm. on the driver heads themselves. Yeah. So Callaway does not have that on the Epic Max, um, or excuse me, the Callaway Rogue ST Max LS. Right. Uh, TSR3 weight track in the back here, yep. Stealth Plus uh, weight track up towards the face a little bit. So you do have that as well with those two. But overall, I, I, I think it's pretty, or well, there is no clear cut winner. It's more, right. more, I think the answer is all three of these are really good at producing consistent low spin drives that really fly out there a long ways. So. Uh, Thomas, thank you for hitting the shots today. Danny, thank you for joining and talking about some of that data, giving your feedback. Golfers, if you're interested in a, a new driver from 2022 in that low spin variety, make sure you schedule your fitting with Second Swing, either online or in one of our stores, such as the one behind me here in Minnetonka. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you like the video, and then you tell us in the comments. If you're playing one of these drivers, give us your feedback. Um, otherwise, if you're not, maybe which one you're looking at to put in the bag. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.